Citizen Gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Bedford Who Charity Con 8. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sorry about the late start. We, we, the, um, something's signalling at me. Your microphone is now live. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was quite enjoying the shouting, actually. Hello. Oh, that's yeah. nice, isn't it? So, um, yes, so, yes. Anyway, welcome, welcome, and thank you all very much for coming. Welcome to the con. Hope you had a really, really good day. I'm sorry we had a slightly late start. Um, the RMT and so on means that some of the audience were getting here a little bit late, and I didn't want people to miss stuff. So, slightly late start, but I think we're all right. So, I'm Simon, Simon Danes, if you don't know me. Um, I realise that some of you are new to the convention and some of you have been, well, actually since the first one, which was back in 2015. And it's really nice to see you all and it's nice to see so many faces back, so many familiar faces back as well. A couple of bits of housekeeping and then we'll go straight in and we'll introduce the guests and so on. Um, one of the things you may notice is that there is a guy on the crew who looks very like me. Uh, he is my identical twin brother. Uh, don't get us mixed up, because you will find you're talking to him thinking he's me, and, you know, it can cause confusion. So if you see a bloke who looks like me, check his belly, and if it's big, it's me, and if it's small, it's him, and he's called Frank. So that's the first thing to say. Um, oh yeah, if there's a fire, I'll see if I can make this joke again, and if I get a guess a laugh, but if, it's a, uh, if there's a fire, my advice is, Go outside. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Or, you know, uh, meteor attack by the nesting consciousness or something like that during the day. More seriously, um, the first aiders, if you need first aid, our first aider is Andrew, who's at the back, who's our stage manager, and he's our first aider, and also uh, Mike, who is the caretaker of the King's House. So that's if you need first aid. Um, bleh, bleh, fine, I've said that. Peter Roy can't come, I'm terribly sorry. Um, he had a fall this week and he's in hospital. So he does send his apologies and he says he's terribly sorry because he look, was looking forward to it. And as we know, he's a big friend of the convention and he comes again and again and it's always so nice to see him. Um, he actually says, thank you very much for having me. Whereas, you know, it actually should be the other way around, shouldn't it? I should be saying thank you. But anyway, he loves coming, so he's very sorry that he can't make it today. Um, just a quick thing on the charities. I'm not going to go into the full, you know, school assembly thing and uh, go on and on about charities and then we all sing a hymn and then I tell everybody off for chewing gum in the playground. Uh -huh. I, I used to be a deputy headmaster and that was what I was renowned for. Also being able to stop a boy at 200 metres from punching another boy. Um, but there you are, that was the old days. So just on the charities, it's actually two charities we're supporting this year. We are supporting Bedford Food Bank, and we're also supporting another charity called Faces. Um, and they get half each of everything that we raise once the budget's been paid off. Well, the budget has been paid off, so everything we make today will go to them. Um, the food bank provides emergency food parcels to local people. You've probably got one in your, your own town if you're not from Bedford. Bedford's one of the larger ones, and they're now on 2,000 people a month for a town of 100,000. 2,000 people a month are receiving food parcels. Not good. Before the pandemic, it was 650. And in 2010, there wasn't a food bank because there wasn't need for one. So the clients, and I think, um, hang on, can't see, can't see, Sarah, Sarah's Sarah, Sarah, Sarah at the front, it was, you were telling me it was 100 yesterday. Yeah. So 100 people just turned up yesterday, and that was heads of families, or, you know, um, parents of families, so probably three, 400 people just on Friday, just yesterday. The clients get enough food to last them three to four days. So what we're doing with the money that we raise is we're going to supplement that by buying Aldi vouchers for £10 and they will be distributed to the families on top of their normal food allocation. So we can boost the food allocation a little bit. Faces is 
Um, really a charity that works with families in crisis, again locally. They are very, very good. They won, while she was still alive, the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. Um, they're a bit more difficult to describe because of their, their work is very, very multifarious, but it's a big word. Um, yeah, multifarious it is. So they look after any family who have got particular difficulties. So poverty, um, things like abuse, parenting skills, and people who are particularly vulnerable in the town, but they are absolutely first class. So, you know, do, do please be generous. I realise that not all of us are doing that, but as, as far as we can, we, we need to. If we could um, be generous, let's say that would Oh, yeah, um, one of the things that's raising money today is the charity auction. And most of that this year, rather than being donated by different companies, is archive stuff. You know, it's uh, Doctor Who collectibles, a lot in the 60s and a lot from the yeah. 70s. There's even a program for Doctor Who and the Daleks and Seven Keys to Doomsday, the stage play, which Wendy was in. And um, they are pretty rare, pretty rare. So, you know, do please be. Andy Price, who's the gentleman at the back, dressed as Tom Baker, who you will no doubt have seen on his Blu-ray appearances. But Andy's here, and he's an expert on Doctor Who stuff. So, you know, do please ask him, you know, is, is, is this any good? What actually is this? But it's all good, clean stuff. But that's it from me, you'll be delighted to hear. So, um, it, it only remains for me to introduce the guests, and I'm going to introduce them in the order in which they are seated. So, starting um, with the gentleman who is wearing a jacket, but lots of gentlemen are wearing a jacket. He's actually appeared, I think he's appeared in more episodes of Doctor Who than any other of the companions. And those of us who are of a certain age will remember him well. If you're not of a certain age, you'll remember him from watching his appearances through DVD and possibly even VHS, if you're a person of a certain vintage. But it's Fraser Hines. <laughs> Thank you for um, I can't believe that a show I did over 40 years ago has taken all over the world. Australia, New Zealand, America, and Bedford. So thank you. <laughs> Bedford is, of course, the site of the notorious Starlight Pines in the 22nd century. Um, I'm then going to go to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> second person I'm going to introduce, and actually I'm going to go slightly out of order. Um, as you know, um, for Big Finish, Sarah and Harry have been recast, and we're very pleased to be able to welcome the new Sarah and the new Harry, and they're here today, and they are Sadie Miller and Christopher Naylor. <laughs> that we've got the bright red Dalek here, actually, because it's nice to have a, a Dalek that's precisely the match for the person who acted against it. So, from her appearance in Doctor Who and the Daleks, way back in 1965, absolutely delighted that we've got Jamie Linden with us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. For us. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Sorry about that. Um, this time last year, I was lying on my back, which was broken oh. in hospital. So it's a miracle, <laughs> and I'm terribly thrilled to be here. So <coughs> thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very short notice, but Derek Martin very kindly agrees to come um, just this week, and you'll remember him from EastEnders, but you'll also remember, and certainly I grew up watching him being punched and kicked and booted around with the uh, set for an awful lot of the time in the poetry stories, and indeed in some of the Tom Bakers, with action by havoc. You remember the caption at the end? Action by havoc. So, delighted to welcome Derek Martin.
all that for the young ones to get up there, but us old ones have got to use the stairs. Oh. Years ago, I'd have run up these. So. That's what we all feel. There we go. Hi, Derek. Thanks, boss. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. I'm not going to fall over or do no, any stunts. Right. You're okay. <laughs> Very good. And um, I think he's the, you'll probably correct me because I've probably got this wrong, but I think he's the only actor who appeared in both Classic Who and New Who playing aliens. So it's General Stahl and it's Lord Kiv and obviously from the young ones and numerous, numerous television appearances. Delighted we've got Chris Ryan. We had two pair bosses, both for life and dignity. Um, we had, uh, we had, we had uh, Julian Bleach, who plays her boss in the current series, and Terry, who you all know well. So we've got the third pair boss. And actually, I'll just say this quickly, but um, I... No, I won't, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you wait later, because it's not that interesting. But anyway, really, really pleased that he's been able to make it. It's David Goodison. should have introduced her um, with Fraser, but again, a first for Bedford Who Charity Con, one of the best loved of all the Doctor's Companions, and she's here, and she's Wendy Padbury. <laughs> Last but not least, who said I use cliches? Last but not least, delighted to welcome a stuntman from the current series. He was Cyber Bill with that iconic photograph of a, a, a Cyberman carrying Peter Capaldi uh, before he regenerated. That was him. He's also been a Jadoon. He's been blown up even more times, I think, than Derek Martin. And he is Andrew Burford. Okay, first of all, there used to be a deluge of flashbulbs at this point in the 70s conventions, and it's all much more sophisticated nowadays. Right, marvellous. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to head back to the green room or, um, you know, join us in the audience, whatever you'd like to do. And we'll make sure you've got lots of tea and coffee. So if Chris and David could stay with us, and then we'll go straight into the next session. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.